guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and today you're gonna learn about the MDR1 gene mutation in herding dog breeds. So today I've got a beautiful border collie named Sherlock to help assist us with this video. And the reason I made this video is because that MDR1 gene mutation affects dogs that are taking the heartworm medication. And a lot of clients ask me, can my herding dog take heart guard? And I'm gonna answer that question in this video. <laughs> All right, Sherlock, let's do this. Let's go. So you probably landed on this video because you have a herding dog breed and you wanna know more about this MDR1 gene mutation and the side effects it causes. So the way they found out about this MDR1 gene mutation is herding dogs were having clinical signs such as seizures, strokes, coma, and even death on farms. And why was this? Farmers figured out that dogs were eating manure from horses, um, sheep, and cattle that were given ivermectin. And that high dose of it from the sheep poop and the horse poop was causing them to have side effects. So through research, they figured out that there was an MDR1 gene that had a mutation in it, causing these dogs to have neurotoxicities. So they found that border collies like Sherlock and Australian Shepherds had a 50% chance of having this gene mutation. Collies have a 75% chance with the highest gene mutations. And then Shelties with 35% chance of getting it. And then your old English Sheepdogs and German Shepherds only have a 5% chance of having this gene mutation. So what is the MDR1 gene mutation? So MDR1 stands for multi-drug resistant gene. This gene codes for a P glycoprotein, and this is a protein that helps with pumping drugs out of cells. The biggest effect is at the blood-brain barrier, when drugs are not pumped out. When there's a mutation in this gene, the protein isn't formed properly, and it can't pump drugs out of cells. If they can't pump these drugs out of cells, they build up and become toxic to the dog. So these herding dog breeds can either carry two copies of the gene or one copy, and thankfully there is a test at the Washington State University Veterinary Lab who are the first ones to discover this gene where you can send out a cheek swab or a blood sample using EDTA and send it to their lab through your local veterinarian. This costs about $79, or it may be more, I'm not sure of the exact price right now. But you can also get an Embark DNA test kit, which is about $159 or more, and this will also test your dog for that MDR1 gene mutation, so you know if they have it or not. All right guys, so let's address the main reason you came to this video, or you just realized you have this question, and that is if your dog has the MDR1 gene mutation, can they take heartworm preventatives? And the answer is yes. So what they are basically allergic to or have reactions to are macrocyclic lactones that are the main ingredients for killing heartworms in dogs. So I'm gonna go over a list of medications that have macrocyclic lactones in them, but the amount is so low that it's not gonna affect your dog. So you can give these preventatives to your dog on a monthly basis. The main reason this MDR1 mutation is such a big deal is because on farms, these herding dogs eat the manure of livestock and they can become affected. So farmers don't wanna lose their pets, their herding animals on the farm to neurotoxicities caused by the MDR1 gene mutation. But for our lovely pets at home that are just getting the monthly preventatives, we don't need to worry at all. Veterinary scientists, have made these ingredients so low that it's not gonna affect your dog. So here are the products that have macrocyclic lactones in them. So ivermectin, which is in HeartGuard, Selamectin, which is in Topical Revolution, Milvomycin Oxime, which is in Trifexis and Interceptor, and Moxidectin in Simperca Trio, and Advantage Multi. As I said earlier, these preventatives have very low doses of the macrocyclic lactones in them, so they won't cause neurotoxicity in your dogs when they're given as a monthly preventative. So besides your heartworm preventions, there are a few other medications that these herding dogs with the MDR1 gene mutation are sensitive to, such as ace promazine, a travel medication, 
butorphanol, and an anti-diarrhea medication, loperamide, or Imodium that you could buy over the counter, that's one you have to watch out for too. There's one more thing you need to know about, and that is if your dog has heartworms. So if they're gonna be treated for heartworms, your veterinarian is gonna use a very high dose of a macrocyclic lactone. So it would be good to know if your herding dog has that MDR1 gene mutation before treating them because they can have neurotoxicities. So if they do have it, your vet may choose a slow kill method, which is using a lower dose of macrocyclic lactones over a long period of time to treat heartworm disease. So what if your dog eats an entire box of HeartGuard or 10 boxes of HeartGuard and it's a herding breed with the MDR1 gene mutation? What do you do and what is the treatment? So first off, you wanna bring them to your veterinarian and they will induce vomiting within the first two to four hours that they ingest it. And then there are other treatments like intralipid therapy. That's a newer one that they're experimenting with that actually sucks out the toxins from the cells. That one is still under study, but mainly your veterinarian will do detox protocols and put them on IV fluids to help flush the toxins out of their system. But unfortunately, some dogs that have severe neurotoxicosis and they are in the ICU or in a coma, they may be humanely euthanized due to the state of that dog. Or some dogs actually can die if they're not caught soon enough after ingesting the drug. All right guys, I hope you learned a lot in this video. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up to help this video circulate to more animal lovers like yourself. And I hope to see you guys back here next week.